one thing that there's no shortage of in exclusive clubs like Funky Buddha is sexy people. And the London club scene is home to many models, both male and female. Our next guest is pin-up girl turned actress Madeline Amber, and this sassy cover girl teamed up with Dream Boy Ghent to tell us about life as a model. No guess is why you got into the model business or how you got into the model business. <laughs> But it is a tough industry to break into. Yeah, how hard did you find getting into, into to modelling? Not very. I'm so sorry to disappoint you, but I didn't. It was actually quite easy. I got a dual page in Nuts magazine, and since then, it's been really good. And how did you get that, that role? They asked me, actually. They saw my MySpace page, and then they said, we want to come and do the Real Girls Real Places with you. And so I said, OK, then that's cool. And then I did it and I got a lot of work since then. So where have you appeared so far? Nuts Loaded, Daily Sports, so, and Nuts Again. And then I've had tons of work for like independent photographers and stuff and photo shoots, websites and yeah. And what are your plans for the future? I'm going to go to university and get my degree. And I still want to do my modelling. And then when I don't want to do modelling anymore, I want to open a modelling agency. A degree, you say? Now what's this in? What are you planning on here? Marketing with fashion management. Sounds like a very complicated subject. I'm very clever. <laughs> did you do well at school? I did, yeah. Three A stars, five A's, three B's and three C's. God, <laughs> no such thing as done belong with you then. No, not at all. But Maddie's credentials are somewhat obvious. Becoming a male model, now that takes effort. You haven't always been a model, have you? No, I haven't, no. Uh, so I was a squatty initially, from uh, 16 to 22. Um, I had four years in the, in the logistics. I can't say it was all good, to be honest, but um, you know, it's an experience anyway, so yeah, I was in the force before this. So what, uh, what was it that persuaded you to you know, move from uh, trying to kill people into modelling? Uh, you know, it was, the, it was the, the constant drumming of, of what I used as waste of space I was that made me think, you know, I want a different career where I'm appreciated instead of hackled down you know, verbally every day. So, um, And then I sort of fell into modelling. I started doing some stripping with the Dream Boys, uh, did the UK tour, and then... Um, just sort of rolled on for that. My, Barry, who owns Dream Boys, had an agent who got me work and he just went on from there and I started doing magazines and, and uh, for, for various photo shoots for lots of people. So yeah, I just took off. We're going to do a shoot together. And we are, yeah. Are you going to do a shoot together? Yeah. Tell me about this then, what's this? Well, one? we just had the concept tonight, you know, we've just met tonight, so, um, you know, uh, but we, we, we think that the photo shoot will be really good yeah. and uh, get some really good photos and we could both use them for portfolios. And uh, she's a stunning looking girl, you know, and Aww. I think it would look And he's really, really pretty as well. <laughs> <laughs> We're thinking Baywatch theme. Yeah, yeah. We Baywatch quite like theme. that. Yeah. Baywatch really good. theme. And yeah. where, where are you thinking of shooting this? Because I, I hate to say this, but Brighton Beach. Brighton Beach sounds good to me. Yeah. We like it. <laughs> we'll, um, we'll get a good weekend and we'll just arrange it all and we'll get it sorted. But I think it would be Either great. Either we'll go to Spain or something. Yeah, we'll do go to Spain for the weekend, yeah. something like that, you know, just get away. So we think we look a bit like Barbie and Ken. A little bit. <laughs> well, Ken wasn't a muscle man, he was just a. He's just normal, wasn't he, really? Yeah, I guess. He's and you've got, you got bigger boobs than Barbie as well. Yeah, I do. So, but we're still pretty much Barbie and Ken-esque a little bit. So, the Baywatch thing, I mean, it has to be said, yes, Pammy Anderson, now I can see that, David Hasselhoff. He's better looking than the half. The half, yeah, the half's got some problems, I've got to say. He's, he's a got, legend, though. He's got, yeah, he's a, he is a legend. I mean, I loved him in Nightwind, I've got to say. I don't think I resemble the half in any way, shape, or form. And uh, I think you have a much better music career. <laughs> yeah, it's not hard, is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. That guy, you know, I like him, but as, as a, a sort of, um, I don't know, a success or an actor, you know, maybe not, maybe not. So. I went to the Trafford Centre to go and meet him when he was doing his book signing. I was stood there in the line and I was going, I want to be in oh Baywatch! Oh my god, on camera. <laughs> of course a natural progression for many models is to break into acting and Maddie is already well on her way to stardom. I've just had a part on ITV actually. Funny you should say that. Uh, no, you weren't going to tell me about that. You were keeping that one quiet, <laughs> weren't you? It comes out in November and it's called Homeboys and it's about estate agents. And I'm in someone's dream. And I actually play a lesbian with a tongue piercing. Not a real one, see? 
But yeah, I had this big metal spike, it was really difficult to film, but it was good. It was fun. Okay, it was fun. Was yeah, I liked it. The, the lesbian scene or the whole acting thing? The whole acting thing, I mean, I even got some lines as well. It wasn't a lesbian scene as such, but it's implied. Right. Okay, that, that clarifies the point quite nicely. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint everyone. <laughs> oh, no, but I'm, I'm sure, it has to be said, I'm sure that the, uh, the ratings for that show will now go up. Oh yeah, I hope so. Everyone watch it. And she's not the only one, because Ghent has also been asked to appear in a film being shot in LA. The movie is a martial arts film, and I play the, the baddie in it called King. Um, ultimately he gets his ass kicked, but it's still, it's still good to be part of a movie. And uh, it's, we go straight to DVD when it's been released. And yeah, that's what that's my next project. Um, I actually am in full-time sales at the minute in the Midlands. I work in it for a law firm in sales. Um, but I'm looking to move back to London and set up my own company, um, which is in the midst of doing now. So and just just not have to work a nine-to-five and relax for a bit, you know. And I'm sure that we'll see much more from Maddie and Ghent in the coming months. Pammy Anderson, Stephen Seagal, watch out.